here we are. This is her second night in the hospital. She was born last night at 7 p.m. Right now it's after 9. 7.04 p.m. And <clears throat> today was the day. We've been trying to figure out how to feed her, how to adjust to her schedules, how to get me situated because I had a C-section that I didn't plan for. Just so many little things. But um, yeah, we're her. She's very tiny, so nothing that I brought or have can fit her. So her dad is going to go out and get her some preemie stuff because even though she's not preemie, she was 37 weeks, she is tiny. So only preemie things are going to be able to fit her. And I think she looks like her big sister. One of my friends said it earlier too, but she's doing good. She's feeding, she's on the boob, and she's um, supplementing with formula because the milk has not come in yet like that. So we're supplementing and we're giving her the boobies. Whenever she wants it, she just saw a pediatrician. Everything looks good with her. Um, we're waiting to get me clear, but for the most part, we're doing fine. They said that normally C-sections, you stay in three days, so we're waiting to see. So, baby and I are doing great. We're breastfeeding again. She's in the football position. But we're doing really, really good. Um, it's been hours. Right now, I think it's sometime after. What time is it? I don't really know. But she's like, she's almost a day old. She's almost 12 hours old. 12 hours, not a day old. I'm loopy. But we're doing great. Another bundle of joy. In comparison to the size of my hand, look how little baby is. One of us are sleeping peacefully. A win is a win. Eats and poops. Day two in the hospital look like a train wreck. I came Thursday night. I had her Thursday night. Um, and tonight is Saturday night. My coworkers are the absolute sweetest. So I got this binder from the nurse to put on because I'm gonna take my first shower. So I have that that I'm gonna put on. Baby is clean and everything. I kind of wrapped her up the best way I could. And we have her um <coughs> down there just relaxing a little bit i have i don't want to walk around too much even though i just got three tal talanol so that i could go shower i'm wearing this little nursing bra that i bought very comfortable love it so we're gonna put that back on when we're done i just got new gown i want to go through and show you guys some of the things that my friends bought but maybe right now isn't really the best time when i get up to shower and everything i'm gonna just do it one time and just be done because just one set of standing but um yeah I need to take out. I'm going to wear home tomorrow. And all that. Hopefully by tomorrow my milk starts coming in. But yeah. I'm going to show you guys the clothes soon. Looking real glamorous. But I wanted to show you guys what my co-workers brought. Oh, my co-workers and friends are the cutest. They want to wake her. They bought some really cute stuff. This is so cute. And they bought her so many cute little outfits. So this little number, they're all a newborn. Obviously, she's going to have a time in newborn because I'm going to leave these little outfits hanging. So cute. And summery. I love this. All newborn. She's going to be dressed up every day. I love this. But I have to wash it first. And this. I love this too. So cute. less bags probably yeah and I keep bags because I love bags let those sit there right now we go home in the morning so I'm trying to pack everything from now and this is what I'm gonna wear home tomorrow put it on top here that bra hopefully I 
you can fit that panty comfortably. I need to buy some pads. I'm gonna brush my hair and like tie it down. I should go shower now. What a belly band I'm gonna put on. So that should be fun. So because I'm gonna take a shower, this is the setup. This is the little panty that I'm gonna wear and this goes inside. So all the way from the front to the back. So we don't have no spillage. So there's that. Well, so far so good. So I showered, changed. I have the little um, belly wrap on. Fix my hair up because I go home tomorrow and basically cleaned up the room so everything is kind of ready to go. The suitcase, baby. You know, just a lot of things, but I feel so put together and so prepared. I think now is going to be her next feeding window, so I'm going to feed her. My boobs feel like my boobs feel like maybe the milk um, really started coming in, which would make sense because tomorrow's gonna be day three so we're gonna see what's up with that i have everything prepared on the table on the side here we're probably gonna feed her we're gonna i'm gonna put some nipple balm on this is one that the hospital gave me and i really like it they said it's really really good so we're gonna get the nipples right and get baby together so I'm sitting here and I'm feeding baby and just realizing that my body is making food so I'm able to nourish her and when I feed her she's able to be full and I'm able to do this over and over again and my body continuously makes this and I'm in utter awe okay and it's not like this is my first pregnancy it's not but it's just being able to realize that and recognize that and just see how you know, she hangs on to me when I'm feeding her and, you know, her little twitches and everything. It's just. Uh... Oh, girl. Sometimes the pulls are, are painful, but still it's so rewarding. We are having a bit of a rough night. Baby girl's eating. She's been on this side for about... 20 minutes i'm gonna keep her on for 30 because these boobs are ginormous and hard especially that one it's really hard the other one isn't bad but this one that she's on is very hard so i'm trying to have her eat there and like see what we can do about the size of it i have some heating packs right there too to put on it when she's done Because everything is being done in her own time. She does not care about what I have going on. So I can't remember if I said that my milk came in. My face looks less swollen and I'm so happy about that. I fed her and I'm, and I'm trying to burp her. But she's, she's just doing her own thing. Her clothes are so big. I have to go home and do a load of laundry. Because I bought her some preemie stuff. That should already be there. But I'm trying to get us together so we can be ready when dad comes around with the car and stuff. But she's not giving me a chance. Because I need her to burp before I put her down because I don't want to forget. And she is wasted. Hi, my Bob. I love you. I don't even know that you get used to these little noises. food always this is the last little look of our recovery room baby's right there I'm about to change her and um oh this cute little hat the nurse just gave me I'm keeping that because a girl's head is tiny I'll show you all the bathroom One of my favorite parts. Oh, this is how I'm looking. Still have a load of belly. So the outfit is from Shein. So cute and so soft. 
But yeah, we spent three days in the hospital. We had the baby and now we're going home to love on her and keep her healthy, safe, and well. My boobs right now are so huge and so sore. I'm literally trying to get her to get as much as she can because I'm in pain. I, ha I literally have to stop by the pharmacy to get like an electric breast pump because I can't, I can't. I'm gonna be a cow, okay? Because at this point, wake up my love. Wake up so you can eat. She's so tiny, y'all. Nothing can fit her. Wake up, Papa's. forgot to put in my app see i don't have no business being on here so i gotta go put in my app that i'm when i fed her she either does not trust me or she loves me more than anything else in life because i can't get her to let go to go outside okay okay